So, I guess I'm going to have to search every one of these bookcases to actually see if I can find what I'm looking for. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to cut this out until I actually um, get to 200. So, I'll see you guys. This is going to definitely take a while. Alright guys, so I'm back. So I'm almost done this. So this is my second time going through this library and I'm actually almost at 200, which is what I need. Now the thing is, is that as you can see, actually one second. So as you can see, I'm pretty much full on dumb bombs and stink pellets. Now, when I was going through this um, entire North Wayne the first time, I was not actually collecting any stink pellets or dumb bombs. In fact, as you can see as I'm going along this way, I'm getting nothing but beans. And it's happening with every single bookcase that I actually check. So, yeah, apparently if you're full on your stink pellets and dumb bongs, apparently you can actually get your beans from here. So, yeah, if you're looking for a place where you can get a lot of beans and you pretty much opened up those chests on, like, you know, the second floor, fourth floor and all that then, yeah, you pretty much, um, I can't check this one for some reason, you pretty much uh, can collect your beans on this, um, in this room. I mean, there's a lot of bookcases all around, so there you go. So if you want to collect a lot of beans, this is probably your best opportunity. I mean, look, I'm almost at 200, and I'm getting nothing but beans. So um, once I get to 200, I'll be able to go to Fred and Georgie's shop. So we're at... 180 or 190 so we just need 10 more and by the amount of bookcases we have left we should have enough so yeah so technically we do need 400 beans because we need 100 in order to get the capacity for sting pellets and dumb bombs but as i said i am not getting those i mean pff, come on can you blame me for not getting those sir Caducton, can you give us the last bean Thank you. So a yellow bean. So it's probably banana or popcorn or something like that. So yeah, we. I won't be getting the the extra capacity for stink pellets or dumb bombs. I'm just going to get the one folio brutai page and the Gurdon potion for Ron and Hermione's endurance. And that's it. So let's go to Fred and George's shop. Alright, here we go. So, Super Sajuk, if you said that the Gurdon Potion is redundant and that you don't need it, what is the vial of guess again. Cost? 50 Bertie Bots Every Flavor Beans. The very latest. This will really increase your endurance permanently. What price is this? So, yeah, the permanently. 100 Bertie Bots Every Flavor Beans. And we'll get this. A good investment. You're well on your way to completing your Folio Brutai. So, we actually done our Folio Brutai. I wish there was, like, some sort of notification that says, Hey, dude, you just got every single goddamn page of the Folio Brutai. I mean, Dementor, Billywig, uh, Chiz, Purple, uh, Doxy, that looks like, um, a man, uh, but... Dragonfly, Fairy, Fireseed Bush, Flying Seahorse, Ghoul... Hinky Punk, Hippogriff, Pixie, Redcap, Salamander, Troll, Venomous uh, Tentacola. And yeah, if that's all that I need, then yeah. So if you want to actually find out what each of those uh, creatures represent, then I, you should just read it on your own because I'm not going to actually show it. What's the guarding potion vial cost? 50 Bertie Bots Every Flavor Beans. The very latest. This will really increase your endurance permanently. There we go. So, um, let's increase our endurance and we pretty much have 100% of the game. But I'm just going to check to make sure that I do have all the Folio oh, Brutai my... uh, pages that I do need. I mean, really, you don't really need all the Folio Brutai pages. I mean, it doesn't actually help you or anything. It just makes you find out more about creatures. That's pretty much it. What do you think of these things, Harry? So yeah, Ron's uh, is now pure. Um, oh, Hermione. Hermione's is almost pure. <laughs> so yeah, we just have the Wig and Whale Potion and the I'm Antidote. Sure and as for Harry, we got um, Wig and Weld. 
antidote. Yeah, and as for Ron, we got stink pellets, stink pellet bags, antidote, dumb bomb bag, wig and whale potion, and dumb bombs. So, yeah. Well, okay, so that's stink pellets, and this is dumb bombs. But anyway, the only thing that we really need to 100% this game is the stink pellet bag. The dumb bomb bag, which only, which really costs 100. One hundred Bertie bots every flavor bean. So yeah, we're not gonna get this. Oh, I can't. But yeah, this is gonna act as like the extra capacity that will actually be put here. I mean, I looked it up, and yeah, these two slots are basically the extra stink pellet and dumb bomb capacity. Now I don't know what the heck is wrong with the owl care kit because sometimes it appears here and sometimes it doesn't in certain areas. But yeah. I have no idea what this is, but whatever it is, we can't get it from Fred and George's shop. And it seems like everything on the right side comes from Fred and George's shop anyway. So maybe these two slots are important for another version, but I don't know. Uh, this was the lost and found item thing, so that's nothing important. So there we go, guys. We pretty much have one percented Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Now, with the exception of getting the extra capacity and getting A and dueling club and owl racing. Wait a second. Did did I just get a 100% overall? Sorry. Um, did I just give a 100% overall rating? There it is. The overall rating is actually the overall rating of this game. So, yeah, apparently the overall rating is not the challenge scores. The overall rating is the overall rating of this game. 100%. So there we go. That's the proof that I've 100% the game. So I got all the pages full of, for the Folia Brutai. So awesome. So I've completely 100% this game, guys. So let's go see Dumbledore and find out who won the House Cub, which of course is obviously us. But let's not uh, be anticlimactic. Let's go down to the Grand Hall. Come to think of it, we haven't been saving, so let's save on Expecto Patronum, and then it should actually be the last um, term, so, um, oh wait, I have to press A. <laughs> so there we go, the last day of term, so, awesome. Last day of term, do you mean the first term, because we only spend, like, pff, a few days here? Yeah, anyway, so let's go talk talk to Dumbledore. So yeah, we got the endurance completely filled for Ron, Hermione, and Harry. His is just a little low because he got hit by books. How you doing, Lupin? I simply can't give a class all the attention they deserve, especially with my particular ailment. So yeah, for those of you who don't know or haven't read the books, Crookshanks does actually play a huge part of, um, of the um, book. It's just not really mentioned in the game, and they didn't really mention it in the movie. And yet, for some reason, the Game Boy Advance actually mentioned that Crookshanks actually does help Lupin and Sirius Black to actually find Peter Pettigrew. In fact, Crookshanks is actually, actually did help both Lupin and Sirius Black try to go after Peter Pettigrew. Yeah, apparently that was in the book, and the Game Boy Advance version actually showed that too. So... Yeah, that's probably a fact you didn't know. Let's end the game. We talk to Dumbledore, and by talking to Dumbledore, that means um, transporting ourselves to the Grand Hall. So let's find out who wins. Gee, and now so suspenseful. We reach the end of another eventful school year together. So, for their loyalty, courage, and their significant contributions to the school. It gives me great pleasure to award the House Cup to Gryffindor. Woo! Yes! Awesome. Whoa, that's a bonus I never see. Huh. Wow. This cutscene's actually extended.
Yeah, apparently the cutscene's much more shorter if you actually don't 100% the game, but apparently by 100% the game, the cutscene for the um, ceremony is much more longer, and unlike um, Chamber of Secrets, um, there is no, like, after... There's, there's no cutscene that comes after, and there was no credits. I mean, what the hell? There's no credits or anything? But yeah, if you want to go to the credits... Um, yeah, where is it? I think it's in the bonus activities. Yeah, here it is, the credits. So, here are the credits for all the people who dedicated their lives to making this good license game. So, blah, 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 blah. I'm disturbing your entertainment by looking at all the credits. Blah, blah, blah. Credits are given to where they're deserved. Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, this is all interesting stuff. Blah, 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 blah. And yeah, these are the voice actors who clearly voiced um, all the characters. Blah, 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 blah. You probably don't care, but who cares? Um, these are the people who dedicated their lives into making this game. So be very appreciated that they made this game. So yeah, anyway, we can do mini games. And with the mini games, there's a. <coughs> Excuse me. There's the Dueling Club, the Owl Racing, and the Hippogriff Flight Challenge. So the same thing that we saw with the challenges. So yeah, there's really nothing that much um, else. So there we go, guys. I have 100%ed um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I mean, yeah, I didn't get the extra capacity for the Stink Pellets or Dumb Bombs, but pff, screw it. The game said I got 100%, so I got 100%. So, wow. I mean, I got 100% for Chamber of Secrets, and it took me a while to actually finish it because of the beans and the challenges outside with Neville and all that. So, guys, um, I am so glad that I'm done this game. I mean, not because I wish it was over, but wow, I've actually 100%ed this game. I think this is the first time I did 100% the game, believe it or not. So, yeah. That was my uh, Let's Play of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, thank you, Super Sajuk, for commenting on my fourth session um, for parts 14 to 18. So check him out. I'll put his link down in the description since this is the last part. So um, thank you for watching, and um, go play the first three Harry Potter games yourself. Those games are good. Anything from Goblet of Iron Up is just either bad or mediocre. So... Yeah. Thank you, EA, for um, making my childhood more awesome by actually making a good license game. So, anyway, I'm Nitsa Gamer, signing off. See you guys later.